Hello and thank you for joining me on my video series. Um, my name is Devin Olson and uh, today's video, uh, this video series is installing and configuring um, IBM Lotus uh, Traveler on IBM Lotus Domino on Cent OS 6. I'm Devin Olson. Today's, um, this particular version is uh, part two, configuring Domino um, or configuring the operating system for the Domino install. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm currently signed in as my normal user. Um, in the previous version, I, uh, episode, I talked about uh, why you should sign in as a normal user. Uh, what I want to show you right now, though, is I want to demonstrate that it is possible to switch users. There's two different ways to switch users. This first way is um, pretty simple. You just choose to switch the user, and I'm going to choose other. And we're going to come in here as root, and there's our root password. And in just a moment, the, the system will set up for root. Um, we're going to get a warning here telling me that I'm signed in as root. And normally, you would not sign in as root this way. Normally, you would simply use the root ID. Uh, and I'll show you how to do that in, in, a, in a moment as well. So here it is, the system's coming up, and you'll notice it, it signs in pretty much the same as the regular user. Um, one thing I do want to do while I'm in here, now that I'm thinking about it, is I need to get the, like I said in the previous uh, episode, we installed and configured the, the operating system, the CentOS 6 operating system, uh, and in this episode we're going to prepare for Domino. One of the first things we need to do to prepare is, obviously, we need to actually get the files. So what I'm going to do here is there's a couple of ways to get files within um, <coughs> the Linux operating system. Most people, you would use an FTP server, that type of thing. Uh, you'd FTP or use an FTP client to go pull stuff down, or you could do it via HTTP. I'm going to show you how to connect to other types. See, we have public FTP, um, SSH, uh, secure window, web dev, etc. I'm going to connect to a Windows share that I happen to have on my local network. Um, and I'm going to connect to it via just IP address. Now, don't waste your time trying to do this. Obviously, if you know anything about networking, that's a non-routable IP address. But I'm just going to go to shared, and uh, the username for that is, of course, Dolson. And um, it's the AZ Lighthouse domain name. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to go ahead and connect. Uh, this is the password for my user account account on that environment. Um, and so there we go. I'm going to remember the password until I log out. I'm going to go ahead and connect. And right there, immediately, you see here's my here's some shares that I've got here. So I'm just going to go ahead and go to apps, and I'm going to go to Lotus, and I'm going to go to Domino, and we're going to grab my. Uh, server 852 Linux. I'm going to drag that right in here. And then I'll go ahead and close this. And I'm going to go to, uh, from within Domino, I also need to go to Traveler. And we're going to go to here. Let's get the latest version of Traveler. There we go. We'll just drag that in here. And that's going to show up in here as well. So it's going to kind of start doing its copying. Um, and so it's kind of doing its thing. We got two two copies going on here. There's really not any reason to have you wait around and watch these being copied. So I'm going to pause this for just a moment, and as soon as they finish copying, we'll we'll continue on. So uh, hang on just a second. Okay, these files are just about finished copying. While they're finishing up, let me show you a couple other things that I I forgot to show you um, earlier. So. Here we have up here in the upper right hand corner um, root. That's telling me who I'm signed in as, so I don't have to deal with the old who on my command in, in this version. It's, it's always clearly displayed this is who you are. Uh, one thing I want to show as also right now, really quickly, is I'm just going to kind of go ahead and open up this, vidic, this visual navigator, this graphical user type of navigator, and I can kind of go through all my stuff. Um, very similar to a Windows application I can go to the go to my computer and it kind of operates the same way so there's my share there's my file system there's my CD drive if I go to the file system 
from here. Now, mind you, I'm in the graphical environment. I'm currently signed in as root. So I can, if I wish to, right here, 